People around the world are wondering as to what is happening when I saw all of your comments and true stories, the true stories you told me behind the reason why you are leaving the Apple ecosystem for the Tab S7. I simply, I simply couldn't believe it. So I started digging in deeper and I can tell you it ain't pretty. Well, it all depends in which camp you really sit in. And let's get real here for a moment. What I enjoy the most are your comments and i truly 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 mean it and i'm going to tell you why and how all of this relates to the video topic today so here's what i did you see i do go and check out other video comment section that relates to our topic today and this this is what i found for the ipad reviews across all youtube channels small disclaimer there's nothing wrong with the comments it all will make sense shortly so first comment ipad pro and i've got it in front of me here the funniest intro I've ever seen on YouTube. Wow, that is deep, profound. Let's move on. Next one. Does anyone know that Adidas white zip hoodie he is wearing? Please, please help me. Fair enough if it looks good, but it's not related to the iPad. But just an example. Let's move on. There's some more substantial stuff coming up now. Apple have already started to slow down my iPad Pro 2020. What a surprise. Ever since the last two updates, I am getting slow screen and lag. And the last bit here, guess they have a new one coming out soon. Yeah, I guess you guessed right and i guess we are guessing the same and the next two kind of sum it up i think this is a funny one though when people ask me why i don't have a ps5 i blew all the money on the ipad pro haha <laughs> we know it's expensive but the next one kind of really sums it up a student's perspective i can't buy this so what I found in most of these videos, the majority of comments just have no substance. And I don't mean it in a derogatory way. It's really kind of superficial. There's a lot of comments that just kind of really, there's nothing to it. And I don't really expect anyone's life stories on the, on the comment section or in the comment section. But what I do expect is if there's a major device, a major release coming out by a major company like Apple, that people ask questions or say, okay, this is what I'm doing with my iPad. Is it worth upgrading? But no, people are interested in sneakers and background and music and what have you so i don't know so the good thing the good thing here is that not everybody is like this and hands up hands up before you smash that dislike button hands up i was one of them it's like oh it's shiny it's new let's buy this can i actually use it as a laptop replacement probably not it cost me 1500 bucks yeah but it's nice to have right and i changed and a lot of people looking for real life use cases and this is where we come in right as a community we guys tell you our use cases and now let's get into this why people are actually moving away from apple to the type of seven this guy has a macbook pro he's got a he or she i don't know i'm sorry um this person has a macbook pro and switched to the type 7 but i'm gonna read something to you i have always had a macbook pro here at home for personal use and he explains what he's doing like video editing awesome action camera and so on so after hearing about the type 7 plus and living with the galaxy note 10 for the past year i thought i might sell my 13 inch macbook pro and get one of these isn't this amazing he's thinking about selling his macbook he or she macbook pro the 13 inch he or she has got in order to get a type of seven and the person did get a type of seven listen to this i love it this person says i love it isn't this amazing but there's more to it so he or she says i can read digital versions of my favorite comics now and it's pretty much the same size as a real comic so for me it's a no-brainer and i won't be going back i rest my case well not really let's Let's move on there's more and this one is really interesting because this one is kind of really regarding getting into the apple ecosystem and uh, this person is an ipad 6 user and basically explaining what they uh, what he or she's do, doing with the ipad uh, taking notes but the most the most interesting part here is it's like i'm not totally into the apple ecosystem i regret buying an ipad and you know what and it says continues here i know and i know the pain of it and you need to pay for the pencil you need to pay for the apps you need to pay for this you need to pay for this and so on and it keeps on going and the person says trust me if samsung releases a tab a seven or sorry a tab with a free pen and so on and so on and so on apple would eat dust in that segment these are all real comments real life people saying i regret buying an ipad and if samsung would come out now and the person says that the tab s7 light the person is looking forward to the tab s7 light and if samsung ticks all the boxes the ipad 6 will start collecting dust or maybe being sold on 
eBay. Next one up is also, I mean, they're all my favorite, and, but I, I just want to really showcase this one. This person has switched from an iPad, iPad user since 2017. This is like, okay, about four years, four, four years, five years, four years. Going to the Tab S7, and the, the most important part is, well, it is kind of the switch, but the outcome, I love, I absolutely, I'm in love with the outcome of what the person says, right? So let's get into this. I use it um, explaining what the iPad has been used for for many years, and I use this for pretty much more than my iPad Pro streaming videos, drawing, painting, explaining what the person does now with the Tab S7. And I'm sorry if it's a he or she, I just don't want to say or pre-assume something here. I don't want to say something wrong. So the person says, it also helped me learn to play games on my tablet, but I rarely did that on my iPad. The most intriguing thing to me here, this is the most, this is like the, like, poof, blows my brain. Saying now, Having a Tab S7, having a Tab S7 instead of the iPad, it made me want to do more stuff for it than when I had the iPad Pro. Basically, this person is saying that with the iPad Pro since 2017, I did my basic stuff, but I didn't really want to do more than I really had to kind of thing. Now, this person has a Tab S7 saying, not only can I do more stuff, I use it more than the iPad, but I want to do more stuff. I think if I would be something, I would be listening very, very carefully and build on this, I would actually get this person to state that for me as a company because it's just amazing. But let's let's move on. This one, next one is also really cool. It says, I game, watch videos, take Zoom meetings. Important these days, right? You have to have your Zoom meetings or Teams, whatever you're using. Do online classes. I prefer it in many cases to both of my laptops. Gaming is awesome on it. I love paying it to my Windows laptop and my Samsung phone. Someday it will rival Apple and I already prefer it to Apple. So so this person is obviously saying different stage here and saying, okay, I love it. And I see Apple is still dominant, but saying that if Samsung continues, it will absolutely blow up in a way. And as you guys know, we have a whole bunch of students um, going on. And this is what I wanted to showcase from the beginning because the students are saying, yeah, I actually can't afford an iPad or an iPad Pro. But, you know, we have a lot of comments from students. And this one here says, bought it for notes as I'm a student. And it's just amazing. Best choice I've ever made. And there's plenty of those comments. I'm only highlighting a few today. And they're randomly highlighted. It's not like I like you more than the others. I like you all the same, just to make this clear. Next one, switching from iPad Pro, listen to this, switching, switching, switching from iPad Pro for art and design function for school. Again, students saying iPad Pro had an iPad Pro, Nope, no longer. I'm switching to the Tab S7 for school in order to do this. But it gets better. The next one I absolutely love. Next one is saying I use it for checking my students' exercise sheets, my classes involved, technical drawing, and so on and so on. And I ask, what are you actually doing? I am a geologist. How amazing is this? You have so many smart people using the Tab S7, using it as a teacher. He's a university teacher teaching geology. I mean, this is like these are real life people. And then you, when you compare this is like, ooh, dude, you have the best intro ever. So I rather have less subscribers, but have comments like that. Going back to the student part, right? Next one here. I love my Tab S7 Plus. I mainly use it to take notes and lectures and so on and so on. Another one that is using it to take notes. And I'm asking, what are you studying if you don't mind? But also what notes taking up he's, he's using and Samsung notes, um, obviously. But he's saying, I study agricultural science. And it's like, woof, another mind-blowing thing. Like these are really smart people taking, taking, using the Tab S7 to have some really important stuff going on in their life, but also evolving and, and developing themselves into something better by going to study, by doing all of this. And you may ask yourself, what do I want to achieve with today's video? Very simple. I want to create awareness. I want to create awareness. I want to show the world there is more to it. No, they're actually using it to change the world, to change themselves. And that's what I find so amazing. And I want to create this awareness about all of this. And most of all, I want to say thank you for all your engagement and for your comments. I think this is really thoughtful of you that you take the time. Not everybody does this, but I want to also reward you guys with this video and say this is for you. And I want to show the world that we are a community that actually have substance. So if you have anything to say, <laughs> let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked the video. If you did, press like because all the Samsung not like us, I want to be fair here, may hit the dislike button. So make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Peace out.